Y'all, Kai here with No Conduct Radio. Welcome to another episode of Tuesday Tales, where we talk about relationship crimes. Today's relationship crime is between teachers and students. Womp, womp. So today's story, we're going to head on over to Dallas. This story comes from DallasNews.com, and it came out actually December 5th of last year. So the headline reads, Teacher, uh, Texas teacher facing sex charge moved in with ex-student he's accused of molesting. So this teacher, well, he was a former teacher, obviously they fired him. Um, he actually admitted to having a sexual relationship with uh, a girl that was in his class. Um, he was actually the student teacher, so he didn't even get to the point to being a teacher yet. And I'm like, I mean, I don't know if I'm happy that he, well... Let me rephrase that. I am happy he didn't get to the point of being a teacher yet, but still, like, you took advantage of a young child who looks up to you. You know, even as a student student teacher, the children look up to you, and you're supposed to set a good example and be there to support them and not support them in that way. But, you know, so anyway, his name is David Zeismer. He was 26 at the time of this story, which was only last year. It's only like a month ago. So, um... He taught in Houston's ISD Bel Air High School, which that wasn't far from where I used to live, um, before getting a job at a nearby Crosby ISD. So he was charged December 5th with sexual assault of a child and having an improper relationship with a student. Um, so of course he was arrested and his bill was set for $20,000, but he's bonded out of jail since then. Um, so according to the arrest warrant, the girl who was 15, by the way, said that she'd been having a sexual relationship with this guy. Uh, and it started when, when she was 15, but then she ended it when she was 18. So they started having sex basically when she was 15. This was back in, uh, 2014. Uh, so so he was still in his 20s, obviously. I just, I don't know. I'll get to that after that. So anyway, so they started having sex in 2014 when she was 15. And the thing about this is her mother caught the two of them on two occasions. So when she was around 15, 16, the mother came home early from work and found them hiding under a blanket in their room or in her room. And uh, then the teacher told the mother that they they met in a math class. So I don't know, I guess he was kind of pretending to be a student. I mean, if you if you look at his picture, he 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 does he does look kind of young. I mean, he's you know twenty something. And then the mother again found them sleeping in bed together, like they were sleeping. So she's under the assumption that this is one of the students from the school, but still like, I mean, I know there are some people who's, they are less strict than I am, but my 15 year old is not having sex, you know? And if I find that she's having sex, we're going to have some serious issues, let alone, I constantly find her in the house with a dude. Like, are you kidding the hell out of me? So I'm just like, why didn't the mother do anything about it? Why did it continue happening? Why didn't she find out who exactly this person is? Like, you know, children tell you whatever, you know, and there are a lot of children who look like adults, adults that look like children. And you as a mother need to take responsibility for your child and figure out what's actually going on. If this boy says we met in math class or whatever, I want to see some ID. That's it. I want to talk to your parents. I want to know where you live. I want to know more about you. I'm not just going to be like, well, okay, just don't let this happen again, Susan. That's not going to happen. You know, so I don't know what the, the mother was doing that, you know, it, it happened more than once. And then she didn't even know this was a, a teacher. Um, so instead of it being the mother that was telling the police, the funny thing is, um, <laughs> the funny thing is the girl started you know, walking around and telling her friends about it. So, okay, and then, so after I guess she graduated from high school, on her 18th birthday, they started living together. 
So I guess the, the police then like put everything together. So they found out that, you know, they started having sex when she was 15. Uh, she was in a freshman, freshman, dig that, world geography class that the student teacher taught. He said they didn't do anything until her 17th birthday, but she says differently. Um, he actually also was caught by police having sex with her when she was 17 in just a, an apartment complex, but it was in his car. So, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is crazy. So anyway, when, when he was arrested, when all these charges were brought up against him, uh, he was placed on administrative leave. And then he went ahead and resigned. So they didn't fire him. They placed him on an administrative leave. And then he quit, basically. Um, and, you know, my question was, how many other students has he done this to? Um, I'm thinking because he's so young, maybe none. So reading more about the story, um, they the school did say that they didn't find any more evidence of misconduct, misconduct between him and any other students. So there's just so much to this story, like as a grown person, like I remember my mindset when I was 26 and I did actually look like I was in high school. People always mistook me for being in high school and high school boys would actually talk to me. Like if they saw me on the street, they would actually try and talk to me. But they're boys, they're children, like that's disgusting. And I always went back to like, you're like my brother's age. That's no, even, even my age, like younger, way younger guys try and talk to me. And I'm like, you're younger than my youngest brother. Like I, that's not copacetic to me. I mean, I guess they are legal, but I just, I can't do it. So let alone them being legal. <laughs> now they're not legal. Like if I'm a teacher and I'm teaching a freshman, a 15 year old. I remember when I was a freshman in high school, like I, I couldn't do that. You know, they're still innocence in my book. They're, you know, I mean, I, they're growing up, they're teenagers, but they're still innocence and you can still rob them of that innocence. They haven't, they haven't accumulated an adult mind yet. They don't know how to deal with sex and betrayal and all of this stuff yet. They're just learning this. And like, you're supposed to be there to help them and you're, you're, you're helping to cause the problem. Like, I don't know if I find out, found out if it was one of my teachers or, or one of my children's teachers and you know, her having, I, let's just say temporary insanity. I wouldn't be able to deal with it. I definitely wouldn't be able to deal with that. But anyway, that was today's relationship uh, crime story. Um, I want to ask parents to look more into who your children are talking to. Uh, you never know if it's an adult who just looks their age. So you need to start doing your research on your, your kids, friends or boyfriends or whatever. I know a lot of people, you know, they don't like being parents because parenting is hard, but you decided to have your kid and you're supposed to protect your child and, and, and show them the way in this world. So. So it doesn't end up being your child in one of these relationship stories. Please, please, please just investigate who your children, I don't mean like hire a private investigator or anything like that, but you know, find out, talk to their parents, talk to them, stuff like that. Be more interested in what your children are doing. That's my relationship uh, crime story for today. Be sure to let me know what you think about this story in the comments below. Do you think it was um, the school's fault? Should they have paid more attention? Do you think it was the parent's fault? Should she have investigated when the, when the guy said, you know, I'm just, we met in math class. Should she have actually said, hey, let me speak with your parents, et cetera, et cetera. Am I being too harsh? Just let me know whatever you think in the, in the comments below. And don't forget, if you have a relationship question or a crazy relationship story, go ahead and reach out to us at www.noconduct.com. We'd love to hear about it and talk about it on our show. Our show, by the way, airs Thursdays at 6 p.m. 
Eastern time live, 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 live. So if you have anything that you want to hear on the radio, if you want to hear your um, relationship story or you want to get advice on that, so go ahead and send it send it to us on uh, No Conduct Radio, www.noconduct.com. Uh, you can also catch Ask Shar where she gives her relationship advice to you on Saturdays or Sundays. She hasn't pegged down a day yet. So just on the weekend, let's just say on the weekend. Uh, so, you know, if, if you like and follow our YouTube group, then you get access to the relationship crime stories and the Ask Shar stories. And that's it for today's stories. Don't forget, join us Thursdays at 6 p.m. to hear more relationship stories, um, more conspiracy theory stories, and just all the craziness of No Conduct Radio. We look forward to seeing you on the show. Peace out, everyone. <laughs>